Hey, it's Allie Edwards and welcome back to December Daily Day 16. It is a wet and stormy day here in Oregon and I am going to tell a story today about taking Anna to Target and she, one of the things that I love that Chris has really done a good job of instilling in the kids is she, both she and Simon really love picking out cards for people. And this is not something <laughs> that I love, but they, I mean, but I, that, I, I mean, I love that they do it, but it's not something that I love to do personally. Like I'm not a big card giver, uh, but he is. And so they are so fun to take to buy cards because they literally want to read every card because they want to find the card that has the sentiment that they most want to express to the person that they're giving the card to. And whereas I'm more like cards are functional, whatever, they they put a lot of heart and love into it. And so as I was watching her pick out a card for her teacher, uh, I knew that I wanted to snap this photo and then be able to add it into the story for today. So we're gonna have, excuse me, I'm gonna have the um, one page be the full page photo and I'm gonna cut and trim that down. And then the second page here of the spread is one that was from the product play workshop, which is using the two by two divided page protectors where I stamped who, what, where, when, and why with a little Christmas story. And I'm gonna hand write filling that in related to this story. I've also added, um, a couple little pieces of transparency that I've got the number 16 in there. And I was also thinking about taking the box. So those of you that have been around a while know that I often like to take the box and cut things up and use pieces of the box either to make like a fold out card or, you know, something like that in the album. It's a great way to reuse uh, what you have. And so I'm th I was thinking that maybe I would put some of the stars in here as additional accents. I kind of consider doing it over here and I may still end up with one but this photo itself has a lot going on with all those cards so I'm not sure yet if if or how I want to add those in it may end up just doing one that has like two more that I'll hand cut two more out of here um, I'm not sure yet so we'll kind of see what happens with that but I'm gonna start by uh, adjusting or adhering this page down and then I'm gonna move over to uh, writing down my journaling and then filling in these other uh, spots there. I think I'm also going to look, one of the things that I like that I have going on there right now is uh, those chipboard circles. And so maybe one of these, let's see what other chipboard circles are left. These were from a chipboard bundle that we offered in the shop. Um, maybe one of these like delight in the spirit of the season, something like that over here would probably work good. And then I have this nice um, trio of uh, chipboard pieces there too. So I think I'm going to keep that one out as a potential to add in. I also like that this is, you know, echoing that light green color that I have happening um, over there on that other page. So being able to tie it together uh, in that way. So I'm going to go ahead and adhere this on to the back of the page yesterday. Let's just pull that out. Um, it looks like it's a little bit shorter than the other one. So probably what I'm going to do is try to get it right in the middle and then I'll just trim off. Actually, I'm going to go up this way. I'm just going to trim off a little bit on the bottom because this, this side, the other side of the page has enough on there that I could trim off that bottom and it would be just fine there. So grabbing my Scotch dot and roller is the rolling adhesive that I use pretty much all the time. And I get it on Amazon so that I can buy kind of multi-packs of it too. Okay, so picture of Anna, iPhone photo, standing in the store. Um, the only thing that this doesn't have, it did have something really cool on the top, but because of the orientation of the way this had to be cropped, it said like season of love or give love or something like that on the top, which I did like, but I had to cut it off because I didn't want to cut her feet off. Um, so I... I sacrificed the title on the top to keep those feet there. All right, and then let's just trim off the bottom. Oh, P.S., the other day in one of my videos I was talking about this Fiskars trimmer and I was saying how I've rebought the trimmer after I've flipped this a few times. And someone out there, thank you very much, uh, told me that you can actually buy these strips, which I didn't know, and I just totally did not know that. But you can buy replacement strips, which is great because that's the part um, on here for me that usually ends up 
causing problems as we go along. Because um, it's easy, I know about replacing the blades and I do that regularly. Um, and then it looks like we've got a little bit on the outside edge here too. This one I think I'm gonna cut with scissors because it's not as, not as even. There's just a little bit on the top too. Actually, that one's really hard to see. Okay, and then I'm gonna pull out my six hole punch. Punch through to the other side. And then I think the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hand write the journaling. I'm gonna, again, take that over to my table, um, my computer desk, and do that, the handwritten journaling. And then I'll jump back on here to show you guys what I end up with for my story there on that part. And somewhere I'm gonna get this on here, probably right over here. And then I may move those guys around too, so. I'm gonna deal with that and then I will be back. All right, so to go along with my who, what, where, when, why, I printed out a couple other little embellishments that I thought I could add in here, which what which speak to the this idea of, of you know picking out cards and 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 that kind of thing. So what I'm going to do is I just need to figure out how I want them arranged on here. I made one that says "Love Your Mighty Heart," one that says "Finding Words That Matter." I think I'm gonna put this one down here. And then I have one that says go and a go. So those are black, just printed on photo paper. So making made the paper black and then uh, printed the go and a go part. I'm actually thinking I might use a punch and punch that into a circle, the go and a go one. See what that looks like. So that I have one more um, circle embellishment on there. Let's see what kind of punch I have that's the same size. That one? Nope, too big. Okay, let me um, find my punch and I'll jump back on. Okay, so I couldn't find <coughs> that the correct punch size, which I think is a two inch, and it's probably just around here somewhere that I can't find it. Actually, it says it's one and a half. This one says it's one and a half but it doesn't look like one and a half, but maybe I should test it just so I know for sure. Got too many, too many punches. Maybe this is the same one. Ah, uh, it's close enough. So let's go ahead and do that. I wanna do that on this one right here, on the go and a go one. So just kinda try to get it in the right spot. And that could go over here too. Um, but I think I still wanna have this one. And I think I'm gonna, let's see. I think I'm gonna do this. Let's see here, actually that could go up on that one. I could put something else in there. Just like to move it around a little bit and give myself some options. And when I'm doing this, a lot of times it's just by feeling. Like, how, you know, does it feel, how does it feel when I move one thing over here or one thing over there? This one still has that, the star transparency in there. I know that I did talk about those stars, but I might have changed my mind by now. So I'm gonna take that one out too. So one of the things that will happen with this page is that when I come to work on it tomorrow, then I'll be dealing with the backsides of these, right? That's part of what happens with this. Maybe the 16 could go in the middle. And this is all, like the way that I'm moving this around really is like personal preference kind of stuff. There's not a, there's not like, oh, this must be this way. Okay, what I don't like Let's see. Okay, that's feeling good. And then I wanna put something else in this one. So I'm gonna look through my embellishments 
Let's see what else I want to add. Actually, now I feel like I have too many, too many circles. I think I'm going to put this one on top of this, so then it's on a chipboard. And then how about some, maybe some glitter hearts or something in there. That can go there. This one now could go over here. Okay, starting to feel better. Starting to feel better, people. I think that I'm just gonna add this one right on top here. And then I'm looking at, I have these stars. I think I showed you guys these, these ones a couple days ago that were, these are from that Merry Days collection, the crepe paper one. And they have a couple different sizes. They also have um, a hole in the top of them that you can uh, have, a, have like a string go through. I think those, they're actually supposed to be tags. Let's see what happens when we open these up. They have gold on both sides, and then they do have the little um, spot where you could have something coming up. So they, it includes, it comes with um, the string. I kind of like the idea of having the string coming up, but I'm also wondering if I did ribbon or like this one. I have this one, which is from another one. That might just be too thick in there. Let's try this. I want to see what this looks like. Even if it's just a, a little bit through the hole there. It might not even fit in there. It's kind of small. No. Nope. So that one only got that one in there. So something like that, that just kind of pops up the top. It's a little bit of something. I don't even think you'd have to tie it. Let's see, maybe I'll staple it on there. Or just when you put it inside the pocket. Yeah, it's too much. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it in there with the hole in there. And then I'm going to put another one up over here. And then again, these will poke through tomorrow, which is fine for when I do the next day. And then I probably want to add, actually, let's look at these. I probably want to add one more of these over here or something, some other little gold thing. Actually, you know what would work? Well, Besides those brads that I feel like I've used on everything, um, those little gold, these guys, gold confetti pieces, or I think this would be good even if I just did like that right on top of there. Just adds a little bit more, or it could be right over here too. And I think I want it on top. Like that, it just makes it so that it has a little bit of gold repeated over on this side. The other thing was, let's see, it was the idea of using one of the smaller gold stars that were in that one. But I think it's gonna be scale-wise, it just feels, well, that's actually not bad. I could do that on top there, and maybe I'll put a little, Ladder sticker on there for her name. So let me find one of those in my stash of stuff here. Let's see if I can find a white A. 
Those seem to, are something that I have used a lot of, so sometimes they're hard to find. Actually, ooh, there's a little green. It's from a past, would be from a past story kit. We'll see if it'll even stick on top of the glitter. that. I think that'll work. I think that's that brings the other side over here so at least I feel like I've got um, three things. Let's see if I want to. When I'm looking at this right now I kind of don't like that it goes across that way. Like I almost want it to, I want to have it be more of a triangle. Let's see, what could I do? What if I do this? Let's see what, if this looks any different. And it may not look any different to you guys, but it might to me and my craziness. Let's see. Okay, so if I stick that guy in there, and then what if I move this up here or below? Let's see. this because I think I still want one of each of those what if I put this one inside here yeah I might not like that either though because then these are these two are like on the same yeah that's a little bit better though I feel a little bit better about that again totally does not matter right it, this is not this is just me being particular but then see I kind of don't like those two are there. Okay, so let's see. It's like a puzzle, isn't it? It feels a little bit like putting a puzzle together. And if I put this here, then I need to move this one over here and this one over here. I'm gonna stop. <laughs> I'm gonna stop because it's totally one of those things where I would keep going um, and the reality is is that it's just fine how it is. So the one thing that I do need though is an, a foam adhesive. Just seeing if I have any extra ones for that star go on top. See, I'm still looking at it. this behind here and hope for the best and then add this like right on top of that there we go okay I'm gonna call that good I'm happy I'm happy with it got a nice visual triangle with those I've got three circles oh that's why it's because I have too many all the circles are down at the bottom Okay, so if I go back up here, let's see, one more time, bear with me. It's probably almost exactly like how I had it one other time. Who knows? Okay, I'm done. <laughs> I'll see you guys back here tomorrow.